Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for watching at home. You're watching a late night talk show that shouldn't happen, but here it is. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight from Mad Men, from Mad TV. Krista Flanagan is here. We also have the music of Alice Calvary. And we have a great title sponsor due to a generous donation from Rosalie Wooten. Our title sponsor tonight is the Moxie Cinema. Check out this scene. Where's Jessica? Who is Jessica? Jessica. Jessica. Listen, I know you're mad. I just came back here to tell you that I love you. I love you since we came to the first move together here at the Moxie. I love you since we got Moxie memberships 10 years ago. I even love you when the anniversary and the rainstorm we drove away into the night. Jessica, talk to me. You're acting like I'm not even here. Jessica. You're acting like I'm dead. Acting like I'm dead. <laughs> hey, over here we got Dave Smith. He's so alive. Yeah. Yeah. You are living. How's life, Dave Smith? Life is great. I bought a unicycle. <laughs> I didn't. I purposely didn't tell you at all today. So that when you came, because I, I was hoping at one point you'd come to me and say, hey, Dave Smith, he's the greatest. And you'd say, what's going on, Dave? And I'd be like, I got a unicycle. <laughs> so that you and everyone can find out together. I feel like it's a warning to the community at large. <laughs> it's a warning to emergency rooms. Get ready. <laughs> I'm probably going to be in a cast for the winter. But hey, I bought a <laughs> unicycle. Yeah! You only live uni, unicycle. All right, things I've noticed. <laughs> These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. All right, let's dig into these. I've noticed that I'd like to open a costume shop for magicians called Fabricadabra. <laughs> I've noticed that sidewalks are just skyscrapers laying down. <laughs> I've noticed that life is a highway and I'm going to avoid it during rush hour. <laughs> I've noticed that I'm starting to worry about chopped liver's self-esteem. I've noticed. <laughs> you just got it? Okay. <laughs> I've noticed that no one will ever say about me, hey, that guy sure knows his way around a hammer dulcimer. <laughs> I didn't even write that one. It might be an instrument, it might be a tool. <laughs> And finally, I've noticed that we have a toy semi at my house that has Walmart printed on it. My son pointed at it and said, this spells America. <laughs> it's true, it's true. And I'm afraid he was right. Things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. All right, well, I am sitting here next to one of our writers, Katie Day, and she has been on a great, nutritious journey. She's been losing weight, and she wanted to share with you her passion 
for weight loss and dieting. Thank you, Jeff. Let's do this. <laughs> There's a lot of information out there on nutrition. And I've read every article and pen, pa pa pen, pa pa pen pen, every single book, every Netflix documentary. One says do, one says don't, it's all contradictory. But fear not, my friends, don't you be concerned. I went ahead and I did them all, and this is what I learned. Are you ready, Jeff? Yep. The only way you're ever going to be healthy is to do paleo. Paleo's the only way to go. Oh, 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 oh. The only way you're not going to just straight up drop right dead is to give up the bread. <laughs> and that's why paleo is the only way to go. Oh, oh, oh. OK, so what is paleo exactly? Now, paleo is a diet that focuses on whole foods. You get to eat lots and lots of meat, oils, fats, and lard, and even bacon. Cause if you eat carbs, you'll end up pumping insulin. A diabetes, Jeff, look it up. Okay. It's real. Yeah, yeah, no, I believe you. So it's like the Atkins diet? Uh, it's nothing like the Atkins diet, Jeff. This one's new. It's called paleo. Okay, so. <laughs> So, low carb, high protein, like the South Beach diet. Uh, it's different, Jeff. Uh, it's, it's caveman stuff. It's... All right, well, a diet of bacon, this sounds too good to be true. I'm sold. I know, right? Bacon, that's what I thought too. But then I kept reading. I found another book, and this is what I learned. The only way you're ever going to be healthy is to be vegan. <laughs> Vegan is the only way to go. Oh, 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 the only way you won't become deceased is to give up the meat. And that's why vegan is the only way to go. Wait, but you oh, just you just oh. said you... now vegan is a lifestyle that actually respects living things, Jeff. You get to eat all those healthy carbs. Anything that grows, anything from trees. Cause if you eat meat, you'll clog up all your arteries. <laughs> Heart disease, Jeff. It's real. Okay? I feel like you're mad at me. I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. I wish you weren't a murderer, but I'm not mad at you. No, you it. just said. <laughs> You just said you ate meat on paleo. Oh my gosh, that's in the past. That was like 30 seconds ago, Jeff. Okay, so no meat at all, but I thought you said carbs gives you diabetes. Carbs will kill you, Jeff. So I, I don't know, which is it? Okay, I know, I was confused too. I know, it's a lot to take in. So I sat down and I watched every single documentary on Netflix in one sitting. Uh, and this is what I learned. It's simple, Jeff. Eat meat, eat meat, don't eat meat. Eat grains, eat grains, don't eat those grains. The only thing that we can agree is that you gotta eat all of your veggies and eat fruit, eat fruit, eat fruit, but not too much fruit. Eat grains, eat grains, don't eat those grains. Gluten will kill you dead. Gluten is a myth invented by the government. Red wine, red wine, every night drink red wine. No nope, wine makes your liver die. Run a mile every day running will make your joints deteriorate. <laughs> So eat meat, eat meat, eat meat, don't eat meat, eat grains, eat grains, do not eat grains, drink milk, drink milk, don't you dare drink milk. Eat grains, eat grains, don't eat grains, sugar, sugar, sugar is bad, Splenda, nope, that's bad too, Stevia will set us free, Stevia, Stevia is bad, wait, seriously? Okay, um, all right, if you do paleo, you die. If you're a vegan, you will die. If you do nothing, you're already dead. We're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. No. We're all more confused than ever now. What are we supposed to eat? I don't know, I don't care. I, I'm, I'm so hungry, Jeff. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go home, and I'm, uh, I'm just gonna eat some water. So thank you. There she is, Kenny Day. We'll be back with Christoph Flanagan.
That Comedy Bit brought to you by Oz Air. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Welcome back, everybody. We have a tremendous guest tonight and also a tremendous guest sponsor. Missouri Traffic, <laughs> Missouri Traffic Tickets .com. <laughs> It's a French spokesperson. Shh. If you get a ticket, just click it. <laughs> I'm regretting that last minute choice. <laughs> hey, we have a great guest tonight. She flew in all the way from Los Angeles. You've seen her on Mad TV, Mad Men, several movies. You see her all the time. Please give it up for Krista Flanagan. <laughs> Thanks for coming here. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Uh, so, I don't know where to start with you. I don't know where to start. I know, I'm weird. <laughs> you, uh, do you delight in weirdness? Yeah, I always do super weird things on TV. Yeah. Like I date baboons on Mad TV. I'm on Grey's Anatomy and I have leeches living in my face. You know, Mad Men, I chop that guy's foot off. <laughs> I just do really weird things. <laughs> and you get paid for it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a very iconic Mad Men scene. Yes. You drive a lawnmower, a holiday party, mm -hmm. and you spray blood everywhere. <laughs> you run over a guy's foot and he goes. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Did you have to do a lot of takes for that? We had to do a lot of takes. And then, at the, and then at the last minute, the stunt double came in. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they got a stunt double for me. And I was like, oh, I could do this. This is easy. They were like, no, but you're going to drive the tractor into a wall, and the wall's going to fall on you. And I was like, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> and they were like, no, 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 you're going to get hurt. And, and then the stunt lady got on, and she drove through the wall, and the wall fell on her. Blood everywhere. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True story. Yeah. So and I was like, I'm glad it was her. <laughs> so, so the iconic scene where you drive a lawnmower and get a guy bloody. Yeah. You got bloody. She yeah. Did. They didn't really get bloody. The stunt double did. Actually did. Yeah. Crazy. Now, I'm interested when uh, you have a stunt double. Mm -hmm. Is there? Are you ever like? Oh, wow, you think I look like that? Great. Or are you sometimes like, yeah. that's what you think I look like? Yeah, that, that's usually what it is. <laughs> it's somebody like 30 years older than you, and it's somebody who doesn't look at all like you, <laughs> and you're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I guess that's what I look like, sort of. <laughs> so I... And I've had men stunt doubles, and that's the worst. <laughs> On Disaster Movie, I had a man stunt double, and that really screws with your head. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so D Disaster Movie. Yeah. That was lead role in that. It's a yeah. Big I played deal. Juno. Yeah. And I had that big belly, and I danced. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> I did other dancing. So, how did you get your start? You're from Illinois. Move yeah. out there. How does it how does it get going for you? Well, I was just like a waitress for three years, and then I started making up characters. And I thought that they were like one act plays. Mm -hmm. I thought I was very sophisticated. And then somebody was like, "Those are sketches," and I was like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and then Mad TV called, and they were like, "Come audition for it." How'd they see you? 
I was doing a one-woman show okay. at, at like this theater, and um, they, the casting director was there, and she said, do you do a lot of characters? And I was like, oh yeah, tons of characters. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Yeah, and she said, do you do impressions? And I was like, I do a ton of impressions. <laughs> And then I went to the audition and I did like two characters and she said, what about your impressions? And I said, well, if I show you impressions, you're not going to hire me because they're terrible. <laughs> and so just hire me and then if you tell me what to do, I'll work really hard. <laughs> Real hard. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked. I got hired without doing any impressions. And then they started making, they were like, oh, okay, you're Heidi Klum, you're Tom Cruise, you're Miley Cyrus. And like, they all sound the same. <laughs> and they're terrible. What is some of your, uh, so how long were you on Mad TV? Five years. Five years, that's a yeah. long run. Yeah. And uh, do, you have some, do you have some favorite characters that you did? Um, yeah, I really liked Luann, who was this crazy stand-up who was terrible. And then I did Three Minute Meals. Okay. And it was never enough time to make food. <laughs> and, um, and then a lot of Heidi Klum. Yeah, right. Yeah, which is pretty fun. So do you feel um, that, I, I felt this way for myself, that I, uh, I, would be, I would be doing a lot of the similar things I'm doing now, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have an outlet for it, so I'd just be a crazy person. Exactly. <laughs> But you, you've got, you found an outlet for it where you're like, I'm not crazy, I'm talented? Totally, <laughs> totally, yeah. yes, yes, yes! <laughs> I can kind of put it together and seem normal. Right. And then I start acting and it's like, ah! <laughs> this, I'm insane! This doesn't work for working in human resources. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, the, so Mad Men, how long were you on Mad Men? I did the first three seasons. Okay. Yes. I was on the switchboard, uh -huh. and then I was Don Draper's secretary, but he kept yelling at me. <laughs> and I kept crying, and then everybody was yelling at me. And then I ended up um, on a tractor. <laughs> and, and I knew it was gonna, I knew it was close to the end when I did that. Was that the last moment for Lois? No. No. No, I chopped a man's foot off, and they had me back. <laughs> And we didn't talk about it in that episode, like the next episode. Really? No mention of it. That's the 50s for you. <laughs> for sure. I would have done great in the 50s. <laughs> yes. So what, uh, what do you have coming up? What are you excited about it, it, in your career? At, at this point, you've, you've proven you can do a sketch show, a, a drama, and you, can, and you can last and do all these different parts. What, do, what excites you now? Well, I, I'm continuing to write, and right now I'm on a show called Clipped on TBS, mm -hmm. and it stars Ashley Tisdale and George Went, and I play Rhonda Doyle. Okay. And I have a Boston accent. Can we hear it? It's like my impression. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't sound like I'm from Boston. Wait, was that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judge me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cliff, it's on, it's on TBS. It's on it's... TBS, and I play, like, I have a red wig. Yeah. And I play a lady who lives above the barber shop and gets a haircut every week. <laughs> so. Right, they have to figure out a way for you to I'm get I'm going to be bald at some point. Right, right. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on. Yeah. You've done sketch show, drama, and now you've done local late night talk show. <laughs> There's Krista Flan again. Yes, travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vanderbilt. <laughs> Musical guest brought to you by Brian Properties. Welcome back! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey, we are moving on. We have a great musical guest that came here from Tennessee, traveled all this way. Please give it up for Alice Calvary. And we 
Hey, that's our show, everybody. 10% of our box office proceeds tonight goes to Victory Trade School. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Big Whiskey is the official caterer of the Mystery Hour. It's so good. Hey, you're good. That's real coffee.